Hello viewers, welcome back. So with this session, I'm going to start a new series of session on F12 configuration again, but this time for vouchers. So we will start with the payment voucher and we will explore what are the configurations that are available in Tally so that you can leverage these configurations and make your data entry much, much easier, simpler and faster and also capture informations that are relevant for you during your voucher entry and capturing the transaction. We will start with the F12 configurations for payment voucher. So in the payment voucher, we will first explore the various configuration options that are available for payment voucher with this simple configuration. Once we have done with the simple configuration, then we will go into show more configuration and explore more configurations that can help you capturing your information properly. The first option under F12 configuration for payment is very simple. That is use credit debit instead of two by during voucher entry. See, uh, the alternative abbreviation that is used for debit credit is two and buy. Uh, see, there are, you know, people who are using Tally from a strong accounting background and also people using Tally from not a complete exposure to accounting system. So some people, if you see, are comfortable with two and buy and a core accountant is comfortable with debit and credit. So Tally gives you an option. If you are comfortable using the voucher entry in the form of journal with the traditional accounting fundamentals of debiting a ledger and crediting a ledger, then you can set this option as yes. Initially, when you start Tally, this option is going to be set as no. You will have to and buy. And for some people, they get confused with debit and credit. So to and buy becomes much easier for them. So buy is something where it is coming in kind of a thing. So debit is replaced with buy and credit is replaced with to. So buy what is coming in or what is the expenses to what is going out or what is the income. So this way, the user can use this F12 configuration and set it to yes. And we will see what happens in tally when we set this to yes. So let us come to vouchers, enter. So we are in the payment voucher. <clears throat> and if you notice here, the uh, option here is debit. So the first line item tally is, this is fixed by tally. So in payment, you have to first capture the debit side information and then the other subsequent debit or subsequent credit can be captured by you. So now here, let us say I am not comfortable with this terminology of debit and credit. I am more comfortable with to and buy. So how do I set this up? So F12 configuration and you just come here, use credit debit instead of to buy. We make this as no, enter, press control A and you will now notice here that it is buy. So I am going to say payment, right? So who is receiving payment from me or what is my expenses? So you can, you can, you know, it becomes easy to comprehend. So for example, I'm saying Adva Enterprises is receiving money from me. So let's say 10,000 rupees I'm paying. Okay. And two is through what means are you making payment? So I'm going to say, I'm going to make payment through HDFC bank account. Okay. And then I enter this and I save this voucher. Okay. So this is the option which you can toggle between debit and credit or buy and two. Okay. Now let's quickly see the next option. So let's press F12 configuration. The second option is provide supplier invoice reference number and date. So 
uh see as a as a small uh, and medium business uh people would might not go into a traditional way of uh, accounting and invoice and then uh, making a payment or journalizing the uh, expenses and then uh, you know subsequently make a payment entry now sometimes they would want to uh, you know capture that in single voucher like for example let us say i make a purchase and uh, i don't want to go and make one separate purchase entry and make a payment entry right but then from the point of view of gst it is very important that i have to capture the party detail and also i have to capture the supplier invoice number and the invoice date which is required as per the gst so how do we handle this now this is where our f12 configuration the second option is provide supplier invoice reference number and date so once we come here and then set this option to yes and press control a very simple you are now going to get like your supplier invoice number or reference number that you get by default in purchase voucher we will get this in the supplier uh, uh, in the payment voucher also so here you can capture your supplier invoice number for reference purpose and the date can be captured so these are two very simple f12 configurations so in this session we saw two very simple f12 configuration that is to have an alternative for debit credit as two one by and we have seen how to configure to get the option of two one by and the other option that we saw a simple option where if you want to capture the supplier invoice number and the date or reference number uh, in the payment voucher so that you know basically you can uh, two advantages one is that you don't have to make one uh, separate purchase entry and then uh, payment entry the second uh, very important aspect is that you are able to capture the information as per the requirement of gst so in the next session we will explore more options and see how we can leverage these options for better management of your accounts so thank you all very much for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much